The BNP has alleged that the government has been plotting to kill party chief Khalid Azia by not allowing her to go abroad for medical treatment. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokhrul Islam Alamgir on Monday made the allegation while addressing a rally organized by Krishok Dal, BNP's associate body at Neupalton in Dhaka this afternoon. The BNP leader also demanded immediate release of Khalid Azia and permission to send her abroad for her medical treatment. Treatment, adding, the government will have to take full responsibility if anything that may happen to Khalid Azia if it fails to do so. The BNP Secretary General also alleged that the government has been filing cases against party leaders and activists again so that they cannot participate in the election. Permission must be taken to hold any rally in the capital, newly appointed Commissioner of Dhaka Metropolitan Police Habibur Rahman said on Monday. No matter how big the political party is, no program will be held in the capital without permission. The new DMP chief said during a pre meet the press event at the Media and Public Relations Centre at DMP headquarters in Dhaka at about 11 a.m. If any party tries to hold a procession meeting or rally without permission and breaks the rules, then any unit of DMP can take legal action against the violators without any fear, he added. The DMP commissioner also said that they allowed a rally of the opposition scheduled for today. Birojada active program doye se tarah amader kastheke permission niye se amra zibab zibab e permission diye si shei permission onu zai ni mene niye tar katchulti. Kono shangkothon jodi permission chada kono kisu korte chaye DMP odha deshe je niyam kono doye se shei niyam kono bhongko jodi korte chaye bhong kore nirbhay nirbigne dhaka metro kolton police tadir bide ayen onik vyavastha grahan korbe. Information and Broadcasting Minister Dr. Hassan Mahmoud on Monday said the BNP is using Begum Khalid Azia as guinea pig for political gains. He said this at a human chain organized in front of the National Press Club on Monday. He added that Khalid Azia should be given the best treatment in the country. Therefore, the government has done whatever is required and will do so in the future. The Information and Broadcasting Minister said it is the court's jurisdiction whether Khalid Azia can go abroad or not. <laughs> জন্য সরকার কাজ করছে সর্বতোভাবে সহায়তা দেশকে অস্থিতিশীল করার জন্য তারা দেশে বিশৃঙ্খলা সৃষ্টি করার জন্য এবং বিশৃঙ্খলা সৃষ্টি করে বিশ্ববেনিয়ারা যাতে फायदा লুটতে পারে সেই পরিস্থিতি তৈরি করার জন্য তারা সন্ত্রাসের পরিকল্পনা গ্রহণ করেছে বিশৃঙ্খলা সৃষ্টির পরিকল্পনা গ্রহণ করেছে এখন বিকাশ পেপে পাবেন দেশের প্রথম ডিজিটাল লোন price of liquefied petroleum gas LPG has increased further to Taka 113.61 per kg for the month of October from Taka 107.01 in September. Now the retail customers will have to pay an additional Taka 6.6 for per kg LPG. The new prices will be effective from 6 p.m. on Monday. Bangladesh Energy Regulatory Commission announced the new price, saying that the new retail consumers will now get a 12 kg LPG cylinder at Taka 1363, including VAT, instead of the previous price of Taka 1284. Prices of other sizes of LPG cylinders from 5.5 kg to 45 kg would go up rationally, Mohammed Nurul Amin, the chairman of BERC, said at a press briefing on Monday at the BERC office in Dhaka. As per the decision, the price of auto gas also increased to Dhaka 62.54 per litre. <laughs> কোথাও আমাদের কার্যালয় নাই একটি কার্যালয়ের সারা দেশকে তদারকি করা নিয়ন্ত্রণ করা আদৌ সম্ভব নয় এটাই হলো বাস্তবতা আমরা এইজন্য বক্তা অধিকার সংরক্ষণ বলছি জেলা প্রশাসনকে বলেছি 
The Rapid Action Battalion has detained the financial coordinator and personal assistant of the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army, Asa Chief. The detainee has been identified as Muhammad Ershad, alias Noman Chaudhary. He was arrested from Kutupalung Rohingya camp in Cox's Bazaar's Ukiya Upazila on Monday. A RAB officer said, he said, RAB got information that Noman was hiding inside the Rohingya camp and conducted a raid late at night. They arrested Noman while he was trying to flee from the camp, sensing Rap's presence. Noman said that he bought uniforms, medical supplies, walkie-talkies, landmines and other equipment for ASA. The third terminal of Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport will change the country's image through world-class passenger services, said Civil Aviation Authority of Bangladesh CAAB Chairman Air Vice Marshal M. Mafidur Rahman today. It is ready for partial inauguration by Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina on 7 October. He told reporters at a press briefing on the progress of the project at a newly constructed terminal on Monday. Initially, only airlines will be able to avail of its services by parking. The terminal is expected to be open to passengers at the end of next year, he added. He said authorities are working on systems integration, which will continue even after the soft launch. Two aspects of this are equipment systems and manpower readiness, Marshal M. Mufidur Rahman said. Construction of the Taka 21,300 crore project started in December 2019, and according to the initial plan, the terminal should be open to the public by April 2024. Sermon Shop, how are you? So, what is it? I am not sure. 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 I बृहस्पति शुक्र और शनिवार रत आठटा बीस मिनिटे एन टी सम्पर्क की लाइली मजदूर टाइपी मारले मजदूर सिक्योर दिए उठे रचना मुहम्मद मामुन रशीद परिचालना शमीम जमान धारावाहिक नाटक भलिगुली रचना और परिचालना सागर जहां भाई प्रथम डिजिटल लोन